the Gate City Picker back at you with a box opening from a online YouTube auction. Here recently, I bought a box from here, Global Voodoo. Uh, been on YouTube for a long time. Um, I bought from them a few times, and I got in a lot we're going to go through. First, let me say something about purchasing from Global Voodoo. I have bought from them in the past. Um, three or four lots. Can't really remember how many. And, you know, guys, I've I, I got to be honest. I really, really do. Uh, there's all kinds of people out there doing YouTube auctions. And Mike and Kim at Global Voodoo, they have to be one of the best people to buy from that are doing YouTube auctions. I have bought from plenty of other ones. Um, there are you know, a plethora of them out there, but Mike and Kim over at Global Voodoo, every lot I've bought from them, it's solid, solid gold. It's packed nice, it's quality product, and it gets to me quickly. I don't have to wait for it. I don't have to say, hey, where's my package? And when it gets here, it's packed real nice. It, it, there's, you know, specific care goes into when they pack it up. And you know, I've never been disappointed with the stuff. So if you're not subscribed to the Global Voodoo crew over there, uh, please do. Um, they have auctions every Friday night. Um, they're not, don't, ain't paying me a dime to say any of this. I'm just a satisfied customer. Um, I don't know them at all. Um, I have never spoken to them, never exchanged messages with them or anything like that. I just know when I find good people to buy from, you know, I want to let other people know that these people are the real deal. So we're going to got this box. Uh, it's a lot of sports cards. Um, uh, as soon as they put it up, um, they started going through it. I knew that I was going to win it. And it didn't matter. There was a, a few cards on it that I won. I wanted for my personal collection. Two, I had some quick resale value on it. So uh, we're gonna pop this box open and we're gonna go through it. When I told you about the quality packing job, I mean, look at that, you know, tissue filled up to the brim there to make sure that this stuff don't bounce around. Look at that. I mean, no expense spared on it. Stuff down in there to make sure that these sports cards, cause you know, the damage these sports cards, the value goes way, way down. So, all right, I'm gonna finish pulling this out and I'll get a good look at it, bring you back in. I've bought lots of sports cards from professional sports card sellers, guys that, you know, the that's what they do. That's what their YouTube channel is about. That's what their eBay store is about. They didn't pack like this. this, this look at this. These are, what, one, two, three, four, five, individually wrapped, stacked, you know, tightly packed in there so they don't move around, you know. With the exception of Anthony, my friend up there at, at uh, Pittsburgh, uh, who... Well, you guys saw on a couple of videos ago the way he packed his box. I mean, that look at that. Most guy, guys I buy from, they'll put it in a Ziploc bag. You know, they won't fold it up like this where it's where it's tightly packed in here. You know, they're kind of loose around. So that again, just another high quality packing job. I didn't notice this when I. I didn't notice this when I was pulling these out, but look, they even put a little personalized note in there. So I don't know what happened. Uh, I shot a really nice video with all kinds of information about all these wonderful cards that I got from uh, Mike at Global Voodoo from their auction a couple weeks ago. And I'm not sure what happened. Uh, both cameras, uh, my computer camera and my phone camera, uh, ha had issues. Uh, for some reason, my computer camera didn't record the audio. I'm not really sure if it's recording audio right now. I have to go back and see. Uh, and then my camera phone, when I was uh, recording some subparts where I was sorting through and showing what I was finding, um, it would only record. It only recorded for two minutes and then cut off, and two minutes and cut off. So uh, I don't, I don't know what happened. But anyways, so I'm actually just gonna have to sum up uh, what I went through. I mean, I've got stacks and stacks here. Um, here, uh, I'll try to get another video right here of the stack of stuff that I have. Um, but I, I, out of the stack of stuff that I got, um, and I just went through this, you know, really quickly, pulled out the stuff that I know that was valuable. 
Um, I pulled out some stuff and I put it up in my private collection already, but pulled out some stuff from my private collection. But out of this stuff I bought from them, right off the bat there, I pulled all of these. And just from the knowledge that I have uh, from the years that I've known from collecting sports cards, you know, there's $135 right here in rese resale value. Now, that is not counting, you know, what I haven't gone through yet here from you see uh, up here just stacks and stacks, but this is just the stuff I pulled out that I know that I can resell. Um, I mean, I'll pop through it real quickly. I did a real deep detail uh, earlier. I mean, there's an absolute Tom Brady. That's a $5 card right there. Um, there's a, a Frank Thomas rookie card. Uh, he's in the Hall of Fame, so uh, that's his rookie card. A uh, little tip there, if you ever find one card like this and it doesn't have his name on it, that's actually a really popular card. Uh, it, uh, it's an error card, and that card's extremely valuable. But uh, this again, Frank Thomas rookie card. You know, that's a, a four to five dollar card right there. Um, let's see some other ones. Um, oh, I mean, look, there's a Troy Aikman rookie card that was in there. Junior Seau rookie card that was in there. Um, a couple of these Nolan Ryan upper decks. Those are uh, really nice cards. Um, it's over here for now. Um, you don't know, there's a Nick Foles rookie card. Nick Foles led the Eagles to the Super Bowl uh, when he wasn't supposed to. He was filling in for an injured quarterback. Um, there's a nice Des Bryant. Um, so this is an action-packed Emmett Smith rookie card as well. All right? So you don't know Emmett Smith. You don't know anything about football. You know Emmett Smith was one of the best running backs to play. That's his rookie card. Uh, this is a, a Dan Marley. Now, Dan Marley wasn't a – you know, star player, or, or I mean, he was a pretty decent player. But what makes this card a little more valuable, turn it so you can see, is this is from an oddball. I mean, this is not one of the top uh, card uh, card manufacturers, you know, tops, Don Russ, Leaf, Upper Deck, or anything like that. So these cards, these types of cards are a little bit harder to find. But uh, I, I just looked for just a little bit, hadn't found this specific card yet. So does that mean it's valuable? I don't know. I have to find some something that's you know, like this to try to find the value in it. But again, I mean, again, it, the rarity of the, because it was a, a short print card or it wasn't a uh, manufactured at volume. Uh, so the, the collectability and the rare, uh, in it, you know, it's a rare some of that than some of the other ones. Uh, let's see what else is in here. There's another Tom Brady Chrome. Now Tom Brady's cards are starting to, you know, going to come up in value because he's getting towards the end of his career. So, uh, there's a Dan the Man Marino. Um, let's see. Anything else worth just kind of popping off at? You know, these are three, four, five dollar cards. All right, here it is. Here's a pretty decent one here. This is a, a Jamin, Jameis Winstead. It's his rookie card. Uh, so it's, you know, rookie cards for a good players are, you know, hold some value. Um, this is, is this a rookie card yet? This is uh, Julius Randle. This is his uh, rookie card. Uh, he's not playing for the Lakers anymore. He plays for somebody else. I can't remember who. Um, and then these uh, short print uh, prism cards, uh, they uh, hold some value. Again, these short print prism ones. These cards here, the, the base value on these cards here are, you know, three bucks. So there's uh, one, two, one, two, there's about 10 cards there. So three bucks times ten, you know, shows you that there's some value there. All right, this is a Alex Rodriguez foil print card. So Alex Rodriguez, another retired player, uh, probably if he's not already, I can't remember. Uh, in the Hall of Fame, he will be soon. All right, um, this is a DeAndre Hopkins. This is a rookie card for him, and you notice it's not a square card. It's cut a little bit different. It's cut a little funny. Uh, so that makes it, uh, you know, something more valuable too because it's got a real nice shape to it. It's in, in really good shape. All right. Um, this is a Brian Russell card. But you see this card's a little is translucent. Um, I don't know the exact value of this card, but I've sold other cards like this in from this set for $5 or more. So that uh, I'm going to say this is at least a $3 card. Again, this is a short print uh, insert card. So, again, value kind of is there. A couple of these rated rookies with the patch. You see that that patch, and that's a fabric. So again, these are six dollar cards. I look both of these up already. All right, um, that's a Julian Edelman. Not that big of a deal. All right, 
Fletcher Cox rookie, a Kirk Cousins rookie, as well as a David Wilson rookie, and a uh, Aaron Donald rookie. All right, and this is uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's rookie card. You know, and so just some good stuff. All right, and uh, here's a couple of Michael Jordan uh, cards. All right, uh, Michael Jordan cards right now um, are – the, the value's boosted up a little bit because there's a TV special going on about him and uh, the Chicago Bulls when they won all their championships. So, you know, these like this and uh, other popular players, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rahman, uh, their cards are actually selling a lot. If you go on eBay, uh, go look for Michael Jordan cards, uh, Scottie Pippen, uh, Dennis Rodman. Uh, you'll see that their card values are, are, are starting. Well, I don't want to say values, but the volume of the card sales are a little bit higher than they, used, they were in the past. This is a Kevin Garnett, again, Patch, Kevin Garnett, one of the better players in the league. Uh, short, print, short print earn cert card. Um, and this is an on-card auto. Um, I actually, uh, from, uh, I don't even want to try to pronounce his name, last name Brambo. But again, auto cards. On-card autos, there's two types of card autos. There's on-card and there's a sticker card where they sign the card on a sticker and then they stick the sticker on the card. This is an on-card auto, so, so the value is a little bit more. And this one here is a uh, Larry Nix. Um, this is a part of his bat you, you see here. So this is a uh, kind of what do you call it, a, like memorabilia type card. So uh, you have to look this one, one specifically up. But I know these bat ones, um, especially for, you know, decent players. And I think I've heard this guy's name before. I, I'm actually just getting back into watching baseball. So I, some names kind of escape me right now. So, uh, But I know uh, known players, their bat cards – they go for, you know, 10 20 $30. So, and then on top of that, again, like I said, again, if you a picture here of what I got left, you know, still, uh, there's probably still another, you know, a thousand cards here. Uh, and that was just, like I said, that was just pulling out what I knew that had some value into it. And now these other ones, you know, periodically when I don't have anything else going on or anything like that, you know, I'll, I'll go through these and I'll pull value out. So, again, I just want to thank Mikey Kim over at the Global Voodoo, and uh, I'll put their uh, picture up here. Uh, if you're not subbed to them, uh, please do. Uh, they have an auction again every Friday night uh, at uh, 7 o'clock Eastern time, I believe. So that's, what, 4 o'clock their time? Maybe 5 o'clock? Their time? Oh, I don't know. I'll make that smart. Anyway, so check them out. Uh, and, you know, sorry, don't have an in-depth video like I was planning. Just, you, you know, like I said, had some camera issues. So, uh, please, again, uh, if you haven't already, uh, go down in the bottom there, like you know the video, hit the bell notification. That way you know anytime we post a video. And I'm hoping real soon to start a live show. Uh, I have got this idea uh, bouncing around in my head about something I want to do. Uh, I want to get a couple other people involved in it. I'm going to start reaching out to them and see. So stay tuned for that. And with that, I'll see you on the next video. And have a nice day and be safe.